Hello everyone, today I will be showing you which are the settings to run Pokemon Legend Arceus on your NVIDIA GT710 card or any low-end card that you have or medium-end. If your card doesn't support both hands, you're not going to have a good time with these settings because this game so far in YouTube is only running through both hands. And with Ryujin, with a card that I just mentioned, NVIDIA GT710, with Ryujin, I have a very bad experience where everything goes crazy, the fans go too loud, and it, well, it does run at a very frame per second, but you might burn your computer down, so it's, it's just if you want to risk it. With Yusu though, we have Yusu Early Access 2486, it was released recently, it's the latest one, and so far, I haven't had any problems, no loud sound, and as you can see here, I do have some mods, but those will be shown in another video. The mods are not necessary to run the game, and as you can see, I have the update 1.01. .01. That's the one I plan on keeping so that my mods can work, but the latest update for this game is 1.02. As we go here to the settings, we're gonna go to properties. And here, we're gonna make sure that we go to general, make sure they have limit speed percent, just like that, multi-core CPU emulation is important, and we are going to be having all this in global, having accuracy in, in auto, if someone is having better performance with the same card, leave it down in the description below. So far, Auto is the one that's working for me. In API, we're not going to use OpenGL. API is going to be Vulkan. And your device should say what graphics card you have here. My card in this case is going to be G4 CC710. In here, we're going to mark everything here. Use this to timeline to cache, use asynchronous CPU emulation. Accelerate ASD speed texture decoding AMD C emulation global everything else global and when we go to advanced graphics we're gonna keep it in normal don't try high it makes your computer go loud and it gets hard in here even though we're using an Nvidia card you think always oh, was used for that but we're not using OpenGL as you can see we're using Vulkan. So leave that out. This one is supposed to be used. The second one used as a chronic shader building. This one is supposed to be used, but actually, it has been better without using it. If it works better for you using it, mark it. If you see that you get the same result, that means by not using it, you're gonna leave it unmarked. Then here, you fast you can use time pack. So far, this is good. After the proper building. Filtering, we're gonna keep it in automatic and audio that's gonna be in global. After we've done that, we're gonna click OK and we're gonna launch the game. Remember not to have this on dark mode, keep it without dark mode, and no a no FXA, no nothing, just like it says down there, Vulcan, CPU normal, no dark, bilinear, no AA, and the scale is 1x.
these are the frame rates that I get. I actually get better ones. It's just that since I'm recording, I might be getting a little bit less. It's still good that it's keeping up with 25 even though I'm recording. And the Pokemon are in 5 frames. I'm using the mod that is 5 frames. For me, it's good for aesthetics. I really don't know if it's improving my my performance that much. I think the improvement of performance is truly Vulcan doing at work and the settings that we're using more than just the mod. Because I used the mod without any of those settings and it was not working this well. We're gonna engage in battle so we see how that works and how that keeps the frame rate. Pokemon at the same time can cause you to have lower frame rate. Be careful with that. You can see everything is running fine. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. Remember to leave a like and su subscribe to our channel. And if you need further assistance, more than just with comments, just go to our Discord channel. Thanks for watching.